So we're going to first of all assemble our Frica salad. This is a really great salad. We love this for the summertime. Um, it does not necessarily need to be refrigerated. In fact, I think it tastes better when it's not refrigerated. But note that you do make it and let's say you eat it today and then put it in the refrigerator. It will, it will be fine for about five to seven days but it does not necessarily need to be refrigerated on the day that you make it. So in there goes my frica. It's about a cup or so. Then I'm going to take a can of chickpeas. I'm going to put those chickpeas right in there. I love, love chickpeas, the uh, nice creamy texture. I always save my liquid, my aquafaba. You might recall if you're a follower of our shows back, oh, I think it was in the wintertime, I made a uh, whipped cream from the faba, aquafaba. Um, Aquafaba is the viscous liquid. It could be used for, as a whipped cream and you whip it up really with a, with a beater or you could use it as, a, as an oil substitute because all of our cooking, all of the cooks for Food for Life cooks all cook without oil. So, um, so I saved that, put it in a little container like this and put it in the refrigerator. I uh, then have my chickpeas. Then I've got some cup cut up green beans. The recipe calls for a bunch of green beans. I was kind of laughing as I looked at the recipe. Again, I haven't made this for a few weeks, but you know, how much is a bunch? Well, you know, I did about seven green onions in this uh, recipe. Then some very thinly sliced celery. Put that in there. And um, we also want to put three tablespoons of the celery leaf. By the time I think people just throw those celery, celery leaves out. They have a little bit more of a citrusy, aromatic flavor. This is a very aromatic salad, and we're just beginning to build the aromatics in this salad. Between the smokiness and the and the citrus citrusiness of the leaves from the celery, uh, we we just have a phenomenal uh, aroma uh, salad here. So. Um, there's, there's our salad. It's nice and green. It's got some greens and browns and, and even the frica has a little hint of green tinge uh, to it, uh, because it is a green grain when they, when they initially put it in a, in a, over an open fire and roast it. So the next thing I'm going to do is assemble my, my dressing in with my dressing goes about a half a cup of raisins. I'm going to also put about um, a half a cup of almonds in there. Uh, one of the things we want to be careful of as we're eating whole food, plant-based uh, meals is we, we do want to be cautious of the fat, especially if you're trying to lose weight, if you're on a, your initial journey to lose weight. Uh, nuts are higher in fat. They're good. They're good. They're a good source of omega-3 fatty acids. Uh, in fact, we recommend that you do use nuts as a condiment versus sitting there, um, like maybe some of us, present company included, used to when I was 40 pounds heavier, sit there with a big bag of roasted almonds. So we don't want to do that because um, that's not healthy. But using uh, almonds as a condiment or in a salad or in a salad dressing adds another another level of crunchiness and another another aroma as well. So in the, in our dressing, we're also going to add some coriander, and um, then I'm gonna do uh, a couple of garlic, about three tablespoons of that. When you do use the bitter, uh, the preserved lemons, you'll want to make sure you pull out the uh, seeds because the seeds are really uh, quite um, tart and uh, bitter, not very, not very tasty, despite the, um, despite the, uh, process of uh, preserving them. And the last thing that's going to go in my dressing itself is going to be some white vinegar. Really good. Now, this is um, a, a salad that, again, uh, does not necessarily need to be refrigerated. In fact, I think it tastes better when it's a little warmer or even at room temperature, actually. Uh, you want to let this salad sit for about an hour for all the flavors to bloom and then um, enjoy.